Hey. Colin? Yeah, I, uh, I heard that you've got the goods. The uh, goods? You're the smithy, right? Yeah. The Moga smithy? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, the, uh, the bow guns. Oh, light and heavy? Uh, no. Oh. You've come to the right place, friend. Ladies, gentlemen, and monsters of all ages, welcome one and all to a bit of a chat about weapons, one of the core parts of the Monster Hunter series. Currently in the main series, we have 14 of them, though we've had different numbers before, higher and lower, and while up until now this series has focused on weapons that were part of games that were outside the main series, today we will be talking about the very unusual and nearly forgotten main series prior weapon, the medium bowgun. This weapon was in one game and one game only, Monster Hunter Tri. First gen had light and heavy bowgun. Second gen had light and heavy bowgun. Specifically Tri changed it up though, but then it didn't even stick out the rest of third gen as this was reverted back to being light and heavy bowgun in Monster Hunter Portable 3rd. And just like that, as mysteriously as he arrived, he was gone. The story of the medium bowgun is surprisingly interesting, as it leads to a totally different potential design concept for how you crafted ranged weaponry. Rather than crafting the full weapon itself, you would have the ability to create various parts, a frame, a barrel, and a stock. You could freely connect any frame to any barrel and any stock, and your final combination decided your ammo pool, as well as your modifications, for example, shields, or having a gun that folds, which takes longer to unsheathe, or a gun that doesn't fold, which is faster in comparison. Each part, the frame barrels and stocks, was described as either light, medium, or heavy in reference to their weight, and the total weight of the weapon defined its overall class and your ability to move with said weapon. Up to 29 units of weight, it counts as a light bowgun. From 30 to 70 units of weight, it is a medium bowgun. 71 and up is a heavy bowgun, is all heavy bowgun territory. So the answer to the question of what is is the medium bowgun is sort of concise, very direct. It's the middle ground between a light and heavy bowgun in this one specific game that let you actually achieve said middle ground. You may wonder what the point of that is, but those who spent time crafting weapon combinations could do things like a medium bowgun with shields, but also normal evasion and more regular movement than a heavy bowgun. You can also build medium bowguns to have rapid fire ammo options, which you just couldn't do with Big Chungus Gun. Nothing else particularly unique, simply the ability to have the strengths and weaknesses of both bowguns in fancy ways. As a result, though, I imagine this system was much harder to balance for the developers than just giving us set bowgun options. I haven't seen anything specific from Capcom as to why this was changed, but balancing is more or less my personal guess. That said, today's video is less about the concept of adding in a 15th weapon class called the Medium Bowgun, and more about the idea of condensing us back down to 13 weapons like in Try, which wasn't 13 weapons, but you know what I mean. Trying to recreate this specific system from Try and having Bowgun just be Bowgun with extreme variety within that class. You could even have it so the specials like Wyvern Heart and Wyvern Blast are tied to the barrel, and it would definitely still work for the modern games like that with a bit of changes in theory. So, um, should it? Should this come to modern games? I'm not really a gunner, personally. Full transparency, bow is my most played gunner weapon, and I put in way more hours on Blademaster weapons than gunner weapons by far, so my opinion on bow guns may be a bit lacking. But from my perspective, I absolutely love this system. I can understand that it is probably more work for the developers, especially making good visuals for each given possible combination of the bow gun, but something like this totally fits the direction that the series is going to me. Hunters are getting more options and more control over how they hunt. In-hunt shenanigans are getting way faster paced and a bit less methodical. You could argue the act of preparation out of hunt and generally between hunts is where that's been going. It's been changing significantly, considering things like rampage skills on weapons, switch skills for each weapon as simple examples as well. So yeah, I'm into this, especially if we can use that to specialize a bit more. Gunner weapons are technically the thing with the most room for creativity of adding new proper weapons, given how few 
value that we have compared to things that we've already seen around the game world. For example, if light and heavy bowgun were just bowgun, then it would be a lot easier to introduce a far lighter class of ranged weapon and a far heavier class of ranged weapon as well. The heavier class, I've always adored the idea of just a, a weapon that is a full on cannon that you've disconnected from the cannon mount, like an actual siege weapon cannon that you just straight up hold in your hands. Big, hefty, charged ranged attacks, but you are rooted on the spot while unsheathed, the entire time you're unsheathed. Essentially, this just is a siege weapon in your hands, a bit reminiscent of the siege mode that Heavy Bowgun actually used to have, but no longer does. But it doesn't even have to be a cannon exclusively then. You could literally have it be varieties of the siege weaponry within Monster Hunter games, like the mounted ballista too, that is basically just wyvern heart as a full on weapon of its own, but keeps you rooted on the spot. Just a couple of ideas for what a heavier ranged option could look like there. A lighter ranged weapon, I've personally loved the idea of something like dual hand crossbows, or I suppose hand bowguns. Lighter than light bowguns and one in each hand, this would be the straight up sword and shield of ranged. Move at full speed while unsheathed, attack at full movement speed, use items while unsheathed, but obviously one of your hands is holding an item instead of a gun while you're using it, so it cuts your fire rate in half while doing it. That'd be sort of fun, I think. Again, these are just very vague, brief concepts but if the bow gun collapses into one category instead of two weapon types, you get a lot more room for things like this to potentially exist in my mind. Not that that is really the main point of today's video, I suppose. It's about the bow gun system itself. And yeah, I think that would be neat to have back. That is specifically the type of thing that could potentially even draw me into the bow gun more myself, actually. I used to play this shooter game that died off years ago called Loadout. And the whole gimmick of that game was you could create your weapon from tons and tons of different parts to customize your perfect gun, even to the point of things like bouncing bullets, lasers, snipers. It was crazy. I love the concept of being able to make a weapon that plays the way that you want to play rather than finding a weapon that is close enough. So yeah, medium bowgun, or most specifically the bowgun weight scale system is a yes for me, but that is one non-gunner's opinion. How do you guys all feel about this system? Would you like to see the medium bowgun come back to the series again in the future? If you're already a bowgun main, would this increase or decrease your enjoyment of the weapons. If you aren't already a bowgun main, would a system like this interest you enough to give it a try? Like if you liked the video, subscribe and hit the notification bell for more. And most importantly, ladies and gentlemen, until next time, stay sweet. Josh, Cotton, and Hollow with the videos Dropping the humor like a hammer on your tippy toes Bringing entertainment on a daily arrangement To take our insanity and turn it into entertainment Yes, I said entertainment twice To reiterate that it is nice To look into your faces on a mostly daily basis When you let us in your homes to make the whole world our stage Is, uh, goodbye